everything's in place. You guys comfortable? You have everything you need? You're ready to go? So, So right here, about 12. Yeah, it's going to be the, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think it snaps on the back.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As principal of Thunderbird High School, I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2023. Joining me on stage for this ceremony are governing board member Natalie Viedmark and Superintendent Brian Capistram. The class of 2023 is Thunderbird High School's 49th graduating class. Today is a special one for family and friends. However, these graduates are now the young men and women of the hour. They have richly added to the traditions and the greatness of Thunderbird High School. Each graduate has made a distinct investment in their future. We will commence with the honor of receiving a high school diploma. At this time, I ask that you silence all personal devices to preserve the dignity of the ceremony. Tradition dictates that the audience remain standing during the processional. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the class of 2023. Let the processional begin.
Good afternoon. I'm Cadet Lieutenant Commander Trey Harvell, the Company Commanding Officer at Thunderbird High School's Navy JROTC. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors, national anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be, seat you may be seated. Now please direct your attention to Thunderbird's vocal ensemble, the Titan Tones, who will now sing for you Landslide by Fleet Wood Mac. Oh, yeah. 
it's amazing how four years can just fly by. I would love to say that it feels like just yesterday that we were freshmen at Thunderbird, but that would make me a liar. Back then, 2023 felt like it was so far out of reach, so far away, yet here we are now. Allow me to give a short recap of the unique experiences that this class has go gone through to get this far. Our freshman year was unfortunately cut a bit short due to the pandemic, and we were forced to shift to online learning. The situation wasn't any better during our sophomore year as we had to follow our protocol and stay at home. At this point, the social side of high school wasn't looking too good. However, then came junior year. This was the year when we did our best to go back to normal. Procedures were, of course, still in place to make sure we didn't take a step back. But for the most part, things were getting better. This brings us to where we are now, senior year. A year where we showed up in full force, a year where we were able to accomplish so much, so many exciting experiences. It's always amazing to remember the games where the T squad would pack the stands, all the chants you could hear, and all the quotes you could see on the posters. Beat the Bulldogs during our homecoming football game, or my personal favorite, Down with the Demons. We also can't forget the energy that was brought to all the assemblies. And this year, every season came with its own region champion. And without a doubt, the student athletes of this class have set the bar for the classes that follow. All, this thi all these things and a lot more illustrate the journey that we have been on through high school. Stepping away from that for just a moment, I would like to bring attention to the senior gift. This year we'll be gifting the school a new stereo system for the auditorium. We hope that this gift will better the experience of using the auditorium, especially for those who find themselves in there often, such as those who are active in the performing arts. Class of 2023, each and every one of you that is sitting in that cap and gown is one of a kind, a one of a kind student, a one of a kind person. You have made this, you've made it this far by being one of a kind. And as you go out into the world, grow and become the best version of you. I have had the honor of meeting and getting to know many of you. Don't for a single moment think that you do not deserve to be here. <clears throat> Through all the stress of studying, homework, tests, you all made it. Enjoy it and continue to make the most of every opportunity that lies ahead of you. To the parents, faculty, and the staff, we appreciate you. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. And to the class of 2023, thank you for making my years at Thunderbird. And thank you for trusting me to serve as your president. It has been my absolute pleasure. And I'm excited to hear about the amazing things that you are yet to do. Thank you. Go Chiefs. At this time, I have the pleasure of presenting those students who have earned the highest academic honor to be received by a graduate. That honor is graduates with the highest distinction. These students have achieved academic excellence, which ranks them in the top 1% of their graduating class. Natalie Viedmark, Glendale Union High School District Governing Board member, will present these honored graduates with a medallion of distinction for their exceptional academic achievements. Students, as I call your name, please come forward. Abigail Bowler. Houston Hall. And Manal Ijaz. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present the top 1% of students for the graduating class of 2023.
dear fellow graduates, faculty, and families, as we stand here today celebrating our achievements and our newfound status as high school graduates, I'm reminded of the importance of relationships. Throughout our years of schooling, we have formed countless relationships with teachers, classmates, friends, and family members. These relationships have been essential in shaping who we are today and preparing us for the challenges that lie ahead. Our relationships with teachers have been particularly important. They have not only taught us academic subjects, but have also been a source of inspiration, guidance, and support. They have believed in us, challenged us, and encouraged us to pursue our goals. They have shared their knowledge and experiences, and most importantly, they have cared about our successes. Our friendships have also been vital in our journey through high school. They have provided us with laughter, companionship, and a sense of belonging. Our friends have been there to celebrate our victories and to console us in our defeats. They have taught us important lessons about loyalty, trust, and forgiveness. Our family members have also been a constant source of love and encouragement. They have cheered us on at our sporting events, <coughs> attended our concerts and plays, and have been a constant pillar of support. They have instilled in us values such as hard work, honesty, and respect, and they have always been there for us, no matter what. Let us not forget the importance of these relationships. Moving forward, it's our connections to others which will ground us and give us the tools to succeed. As we move on to the next phase of our lives, let us cherish the relationships we have formed in high school. Let us stay connected with our teachers, friends, and family members. Let us continue to learn from them, support them, and love them. And let us never forget the important role that relationships play in shaping who we are and who we will become. Thank you and congratulations, Titans Class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and my fellow graduates. Today, as we begin the next chapter of our life's story, I want to reflect on what I believe is a critical virtue for fulfilling life, gratitude. The philosopher Cicero said that gratitude is not only the greatest of the virtues, but the parent of all others. Gratitude takes the focus off of us. It is difficult to feel hopeless, diminished, or fearful when our thoughts dwell on the countless family members, friends, coaches, and organizations that have played a role in our success. Let us express our deep appreciation to our families who have been our unwavering support system throughout this journey. They've cheered us on, wiped away our tears, and celebrated our victories. Their love and sacrifices have paved the way for us to stand here today. Let us honor their love and dedication. Let us express gratitude to our teachers, coaches, and mentors who have ignited the flames of knowledge within us. They have challenged us, nurtured our potential, and guided us towards excellence. Their passion for teaching and coaching has left an indelible mark on our minds, and we owe them our deepest gratitude for imparting wisdom that extends well beyond the classroom. Let's express gratitude to the United States of America, our home that has provided us with abundant opportunities and freedoms. We stand on the shoulders of visionaries and pioneers who shaped this nation, creating a land of endless possibilities. This country has granted us the privilege of education, fostering an environment where our dreams can be pursued and realized. We are grateful for the foundations of democracy, equality, and justice upon which this nation stands, and for the countless men and women who have dedicated their lives to preserving these principles. My fellow graduates, like gratitude, be our constant companion as we step into the unknown. May we always remember to express appreciation, find joy in little things, and strive to give far more than we take. With gratitude in our hearts, we can shape a future that upholds the promise of our nation. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, and may our journeys be filled with gratitude and success. Save the best for last. But you know, this truly feels surreal. After having spent 12 years alongside of y'all, we're finally graduating. Except for the simple fact that I've only spent nine months in this wonderful state of Arizona. You see, I moved here right before senior year. And so, some of y'all may be hearing about me for the very first time. Although, perhaps you saw me in the hallways. I mean, I kinda stick out. So, allow me to introduce myself. Manal Ijaz, or to most, 
I'm that kid in class who always raises their hand and asks an absurd question before receiving that iconic and exasperated teacher sigh. Ugh, another question, Manal? I know, I know, it's probably the only reason I'm even up here. And that's why I'm telling you all about it. As we head off into college or even the military, I encourage you all to ask more questions. Although you probably don't want to ask a high-ranking military officer an absurd one, I doubt that would end very well. Perhaps you should ask a few. For example, in psychology, we learn that the amount of sleep one needs is based on genetics. And so my favorite question that stumped my psych teacher was that if sleep is based on genetics, is our generation barely sleeping going to help future generations? I know, it sounds a bit odd, but essentially what I'm saying is that parents, let your kids stay up till three in the morning to finish assignments for the future. But yeah, you're probably thinking that, Manal, I have no intent of asking absurd sciencey questions. So instead, ask simple ones. Like, is this assignment due at 11.59 or tomorrow morning? Shout out to Miss Boykin for those 9 a.m. deadlines. Miss Miller, on the other hand, I'm kidding, definitely kidding. But in all seriousness, in a society where we're often awarded for answering things correctly, instead of asking questions, it seems as though we fail to venture into new ideas and even attempt understanding. So as we leave, a traditional educational environment, I encourage you all to ask more questions and stay up till three in the morning before you fall asleep for science. Thank you. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Today is the culmination of years of preparation, the realization of a job well done, and the anticipation of what lies ahead. Today, you can allow yourself a moment of satisfaction and take time to honor and thank the family and friends who have supported you along the way. Many of those people are here to celebrate, celebrate this achievement with you. Your high school career has been interesting, to say the least. You are among a group of students who learned how to be more flexible and resilient. You developed grit. You had to. You made it through a global pandemic that brought about unprecedented change in how you learned. It changed how teachers had to teach. It is not something that we would wish for again, but in the end, it has made you stronger. Your lives and your careers will present many unexpected obstacles. I trust that what you have learned from your teachers, your coaches, your peers, and of course your parents has helped to equip you with the skills and tools necessary to overcome those inevitable challenges in life. Looking back over this school year, there are numerous accolades for us to celebrate. Here are a few highlights. This year's Student Achievement Above All recipient was Houston Hull. In addition to receiving this recognition, he finished in the top 1% of his graduating class. Our Achievement Above All student group was football. They finished the regular season eight and two, earning a bid to the 4A state playoffs as a 14 seed. The first round game was full of excitement as the Titans upset number three Marcos Deniza 17 to 14. Ultimately, the team fell in the next round of the playoffs, but celebrated a successful playoff run. In the end, football won their region, as did girls volleyball, girls basketball, and baseball. Other teams making playoff appearances were boys basketball, boys and girls soccer, and boys tennis. Individual athletes also qualified for state competition in badminton, swim, track, cross country, wrestling, and tennis. Finally, our NJROTC drill team took second place in state competition. Additionally, I want to congratulate the performing artists, the photographers and visual arts students, as well as our CTE students. Your talents are a huge part of what makes Thunderbird High School so successful. I submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, that the class of 2023 brought their A game. When I look out over this group of young men and women, it is no wonder that Thunderbird High School continues to be an institution of excellence. I would now like to take a moment to recognize students for outstanding achievement on state testing. Seniors, if you earned a gold, silver, or bronze medal for your achievements in state testing, please stand up.
Let's congratulate these students. Their performance reflects their hard work as well as their teachers' hard work in the classroom. Thank you very much for your efforts. Finally, I'd like to report that the class of 23 has earned over $11.8 million in scholarships and has given back to the community over 11,000 hours of service. Class of 2023, Thunderbird High School is proud of you. We wish you all the best as you work toward your future successes. It's been our pleasure working with you over these past four years. We will miss you. Thank you. I would now like to introduce to you Mrs. Natalie Viedmark. Natalie Viedmark is a lifelong member of the Glendale Union High School District community. As a graduate of Thunderbird High School, she and her husband chose to send their four children to Thunderbird as well. Aside from graduating from Westmont College in California, Natalie has been an active member in the North Phoenix community, serving in the North Mountain Business Alliance, National Charity League of Moon Valley, North Valley Chapter of Boys Team Charity, Trinity Bible Church Children's Ministry, Young Life, and the parent organizations at her neighborhood schools. She and her husband are part of their family-owned underground construction business. Good afternoon. Excited to see the Thunderbird graduates and happy to see the families, the teachers, and the community members that have been here to support our students. Graduates, yesterday you were students. Today you're graduates. And tomorrow you will be embarking on your next adventure. There's a quote that states, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you figure out why. As you set out to figure out your why, I do have a couple of suggestions. First, live your life in real life. There are huge pressures to increasingly live in a virtual world. That virtual world can be social media, gaming platforms, or even new inventive technologies like AI. And these might be great resources to accomplish goals. However, it cannot replace real people and real life events. We would not want to be doing this virtually. Some of the relationships that you have, you created here with your classmates. And you are supported by your family members and friends here that came to see you graduate. And I'm hoping that even if things change in the next couple of months and years for you with the people that are in that, continue to find real life connection points and forge new relationships. My second point is try something new, even when you don't know the outcome. Tomorrow you might be stepping out into the workforce. Maybe you have plans to continue your education in college. Maybe you're gonna continue a skill in the military or in the trades and getting hands-on training in a specific field. In each of your tomorrows, push yourself. Something challenging that you found as a freshman would be very easy for you today. And it would seem simple. Likewise, after you start your next challenging adventure, you soon will find that you can conquer it and it won't be impossible. Today is the tomorrow that you and your family and friends have looked forward to for years, some maybe more than others. As a member of the Glendale Union High School District Governing Board, it is my honor to congratulate you on graduating from Thunderbird High School. I and the rest of the governing board have the brightest hope for your tomorrow. And this is the fun and um, official part of what I get to say that I didn't even know was part of this role. As a member of the governing board of the Glendale Union High School District, and by the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the state of Arizona, I accept and confirm 
that the Thunderbird High School class of 2023 has met requirements for graduation. Mr. Latham, please present the graduates to receive their diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you moderate your applause until the completion of the ceremony as a courtesy, which will permit the families and friends of graduates to hear the names as they are announced. Will the first row of the class of 2023 please rise and prepare to receive your diplomas. Trey Anthony Harvell. Angel Chance Riley Porras. Adrian Michael Kiao. Bree Marlene Kerr. Abigail Grace Bowler. Elijah Ben Lopez. Houston William Hall. Kimberly Alessandra Rivas Maldonado. Manal Ijaz. Fadi Leith Marcus. Kalia Nicole Enriquez. Anna Paula Gallegos Castaneda. Sophia Adriana Fields. Frank Lynn. Savio Jalal. Sierra Lynn Riley. Chloe Eliana Estes. Logan Matthew Schmenke. Aiden Michael Dooley. Natalia Navarro. Alasia Michelle Collins. James Brian Melicio Agustin. Zachary Robert Dibburn. Kiera May Larson. Trinity Vaness Castaneda. Brian Liu. Tyler William Dean Kerr. Emma Nicole Rogers. Carolina Cordova. Yazid Junior Navarro Favela. Andreas Lebron Avery. Shaylin Renee Stevenson. Ella Therese Bayardi. Alice Michael Dominguez. Annika Noel Martinez. Vanessa Carrion. Latrell Daniel Williams. James Arthur Dement Jr. Jordan McKenna Williams. Rebecca Ruth Dixon. Treshawn Devante Watkins. Yvonne Robert Fenn. Gloria Lynn Vance. Jessica Reina Doucette. Isaiah Nathaniel Perilla Frank. Maddox Wallace Eccleston. Savannah Rose Stedman. Mackenzie Ann Brewer. Isaiah Tariq Lee. Anthony Curtis Kelly. Anna Isabel Sulkis Wash. Ailey Margaret Cook. Yanni Victor Rosales. Carlos Arturo Garcia Gutierrez. Amberlyn M. Motherway. 
Zoe Olivia Engel, Nathan Philip Martin, Jacob Burton Jenna, Kamaya Kayla Miller, Nyla Rose Jones, Carter Michael Squires, Peter Anthony Kurkowski, Marlene Mabel Morales Quiros, Aspen Shea Graham, Sean Michael Matthews, Nathan Alexander Godoy, Madison Lynette Musil, Marley Elise Bastin, Eric Mejia Perez. Brody Dale Fogelson, Reese Aylan Van Sickle, Lily Bell Kuntz, Lucas Scott Remore, Drake Anthony Cole, Alexia Valeria Salazar, Alexandra Rachel Cruz Olivares, Matthew David Martinez. Caden William Coots, Carla Orozco Rodriguez, Woo! Ulisa Elizabeth Camacho Garcia, Kevin Giovanni Santos Garcia, Dante Alfonso Kuhn, Piper Mayan Reem, Mika Tida Kipanjong. Luis Fernando Parra Cruz. Jace Michael Calhoun. Zyrene Ruth Ignacio Punsalan. Jaya Jet Johnson. <laughs> Isaiah Matthew Orande. Emily Rose Askew. <laughs> Naima Jade Nielsen. <laughs> Brian Delgado. Presley Ray Newworth. Asia Isabel Correa. Yeah. Carrie Lee. Yeah. Jamila Oteya Bell. Lynn Duk Hung Tang. Aiden Quinn Darling. Jenna Kim Lee. Brianna Begay. Nicholas Joseph Tully. Connor James Black. Leilani Alize Latina Rodriguez. Woo! Sonia Samayi Cardenas Jimenez. Hector Manuel Hardman. Ryden J. Kendall. Patrick Zuniga. Kimberly Gastelum. Prudence Victoria Seidel. Jordan Garza. Tyler George Whitner. Priscilla Alanis. Cami Breeze Weeks. Max Avery Cruz Olivares. Rishi Reddy Tellery. Cecia Carranza Pascaira. Sarah Denise Stewart. Lex Elijah Hollingsworth. Zachary Chase Weigel. Haley Isabella Hernandez. <laughs> Rowan Morgan Zillow. Jonathan Estrada Anderton. Seth Jeffrey McDonald. Paloma Gutierrez Barajas. Michaela Shea Reilly. Anthony Rudy Aguilar. Dan Nguyen. Aya Al Zubaidi. Sandra Lynn Sager. Victoria Ruby Flores. Luis Gustavo Martinez Garcia. 
George Harold Gavigan. Ashley Renee Swa. Jessica Nicole Gonzalez. Ryan James Monroe. Jaime Gael Jasso. Sasha Orisa Murray. Alyssa Ann Cooprider. Brayden Allen Ness. Lauren Lisbeth Garcia Antunes. Emily, Gar um, Emily Grace Parsons. Brandon Escobar Ontiveros. Dylan Jeremiah Mosley. Kimberly Suloai Antonio Castillo. Mackenzie Marie Mitchell. Jesus Bejarano Jaquez. Ethan Dean Manlangit. Jacqueline Diaz Ramirez. McKenna Nanine Moore. Marjan Paul Arnold. Alexander Laird Theodore Past. Candace Nicole Acklin. Isabel Anna Montoya. Flor Celeste Aguayo Castro. Xander Cage Unger. Robert Astorga Bakawi. <laughs> Tiffany Amber Nasinovich. River Sienna Keller. Alexis Gabriel Perez Hernandez. Joseph Hunter Calvin. Samantha Rodriguez Pena. Kaylee Monique Ayala Vasquez. David Morales Lopez. Brian Alessandro Chavez. Danira Ross Baldo. Mariana Dorante Sanchez. Duncan Alexander Moore. Jake Nicholas Debrasini. Ashley Jocelyn Rodriguez Lopez. Lily Goodwin. Michael Reed Tilly II. Samuel Ray Boykin. Tatum Ann Nasinovich. Ava Michelle Boykin. Derek Cohen Schuster. Vincent Alfonso Jarava. Haley Rose Ziegler. Angelique Alexis Camacho. Jorge Isidoro Olmas Ibarra. Daniel Rayko Borchik. Skyly Page Valentin. Emilia Luis Duna Sandoval. Damian Jericho Stolp. Andrew William David Barnett. Evelyn Daniela Molina Silva. Jackson Luke Howell. David Nava Lescas. Mallory Grace Bryant. Alyssa Sante Santiago. Braden Rudell Appleton. Heriberto Santiago Mota. Willow Renee Bradford. Stacy McPhee Gillum. Kirsty Ellen Cook. <laughs> Randall Allen Meadows. Jalen Ornell Arrington. Areli Veronica Mora Reza. 
Amaya Liliana Crespo. Francisco Daniel Rojas Montoya. Cesar Caro. Brianna Quiroga Flores. Michael Montre Lonnie Epson Jr. Collier James Messick. Claudia Jane Gilder. Luz Abigail Morales Martinez. Joshua Isaac Aguirre. Matthew James Verville. Diego Esteban Acevedo. Rebecca Sofia Ramirez Zaragoza. Claudia Shania Alvarez Almonte. Brendan Ramon Valenzuela. John Kenneth Boyce. Natalie Abigail Roladon Colindres. Ariel Nicole Castandin. Angel Raul Lopez Valdez. Jordan Amari Hall. <laughs> Naiwo Bol Reek. Abel Buitemilla Gutierrez. Andy Yulalo Rosas Gonzalez. Isis Burden. Eileen Julissa Molinar. Diana Gayak. Damian Liam Mitchell-Mide Tomiga. Isla Rianne Granger. Esther Shella Melish. Justin Robert Kelly. Maximus Kenneth McNutt. Riley Leah Begay. Jacob Martinez. Riley Jeremiah Hoban. Angelina Luz Rojas. Marjorie Delay Ferusca Bucio. Ivan Osegueda Garcia. Shamari Tanaya Bowie. Sierra Denise Marquez Figueroa. Aiden James Bundy. Alan Jesus Ramirez Aguirre. William Bolanos Alva. Chanel Kitsia Rodarte Martinez. Thomas Alexander Groves. Thomas Francisco Livingston. Gabriel Matthew Hernandez. Rachel Esther Mastoff. Clayton Nicholas Calloway. <laughs> Jacob Lawrence Stevens. <laughs> Somena Kundu. <laughs> Angelica Noemi Sanchez. <laughs> Shane Patrick Davis Jr. Nathan Tyler Wheeler. Liliana Castro. Lorena Michelle Price. Haley Begay. Edgar Said Valdez Aguilar. Eric Carranza. Nikki Elizabeth Stoddard. Yeah. Udell Aldaco. Viani Marie Smith. Marshall Joseph Curley. Alexandra Antonia Shaw. Lillian May Alexander. 
Kimberly Eileen Taylor Tequapa. Ethan Chavez Correa. Jessica Rivera Hoya. Melody Aguirre Quinn. Kamara Aliyah Mosley. Hector Manuel Felix Jr. Kimberly Fernanda Morales Castillo. Colin Peter Franklin. Cassandra Savita Grace Norforth. Cassidy Elizabeth Clark. Valerie Ann Livingstone. Connor Zane Chacon Herbison. Isabel Beltran Monge. Valeria Yvette Hernandez Bejarano. Valerie Morales. Malek Ali Jabir. Amy Yaretsi Leon Longoria. Madison Shayla Garcia. Jennifer Denise Reyes Navas. Oh no. Yes. Joshua Allen Hackett. Uriah Torres. Ricardo Mackay Height Divine. Reagan Michelle Mickelson. <laughs> Antonio Ryan Kinder. <laughs> Rebecca Lynn Montiel. Jose Julian Jimenez Olivas. Ruby Catherine Reynolds. Andrew Donald Cudmore. Ixel Navarrete Carrillo. Ian Beauregard Johnson. Alexis Love Sadikoff. Camila Benedict Sanchez. Tatum Zimmerman. Alexis Castro Valenzuela. Aliyah Gabrielle Escobar Nunes. Christopher Anthony Hine. Noemi Martinez Perez. Hold on, hold on. Sean Anthony Dean. Let's go, Sean! Yes, We just graduated, guys. <laughs> Welcome, family, friends, faculty, staff, and the graduating class of 2023. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kali Enriquez. <laughs> to my fellow graduates, it has been an, an absolute privilege to serve as your student body president. Before I present my remarks, let me say thank you. For a long time, I've looked forward to being able to thank you all adequately. Some of the most important people in our lives are in this building. So on this special day, and in an eloquent way, I shall express my gratitude. To my family, this accomplishment has almost every do, everything to do with them and nothing to do with me. Despite our difficulties, I was always brought up by so much love. They're the reason for my tough skin and my soft heart. 
To the humans who continuously choose a profession that puts countless people before them, you are so much more than the title of a teacher. Four months ago, oh, I skipped a sentence. <laughs> As many of you guys know, I lost a parent this year. Four months ago, my anxiety told me I would not be standing up on this stage. Four months ago, I could barely make it to school. I can say that without a doubt, my teachers were the ones who helped save my life. To Ms. Pa <sighs> to Ms. Pavlik, Ms. Zions, Ms. Rogers, Mr. Peterson, and Mr. Prashala, thank you. You deserve way more than to be talked about at a graduation. <laughs> and to the beautiful group of girls I have spent the last seven years surrounding myself with, you have been one of my biggest blessings. God knew I needed a village, and you guys are the heart of it. So, so to all of you before me, thank you. To my fellow graduates, I hope the fact that I am giving thanks first and foremost is an indication to you of the importance in the lives you could potentially change around you. As cliche as it may sound, you are ultimately defined not by what you do, but how you do it. As we're all reflecting on these past four years, we come back to the idea that we do not have forever. You may not even have next week or next month. We often forget this timeline is completely out of our control. So with that, in this next chapter in our lives and for the rest of our lives, I hope you truly take the time to figure out what moves you, what encourages your soul, what you deeply crave from life, and I hope you have the courage to go and chase that. I hope seeing seasons of being misunderstood and unappreciated do not cause you to see yourself through the eyes of those who cannot see your value, but rather let it encourage you. Surround yourself with people who are doing the work to heal and grow. Surround yourself with those who want to talk to you about ideas rather than other people. If high school has taught us anything, it's that time is in essence. What you do with it will be your story. This new chapter in our lives is no longer a distant memory. We are here and we did it. Now give yourself permission to be all that you are. Congratulations, class of 23. All glory to God. I'll see you at the reunion. During the recessional, we ask that all guests remain in their seats. At the conclusion of the recessional, guests should exit the facility using the north doors located at the end of the building. All graduates must, must be met outside of the building. Teachers, we are ready to begin the recessional. Graduates, please rise. Graduates, please move your tassel from right to left, signifying a high school graduate. Parents and guests, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2023.